everybody, Mr. Odom here, and today's topic is surface area of pyramids. So if you're going to follow along and take notes, you'll need a pencil, composition book, or note paper, and a calculator. All right, so today I'm going to uh, spend time talking about how do we find the surface area of pyramids. And the learning target for this lesson is, at the end of it, hopefully you'll be able to say, I can find the surface area of pyramids. So let's get started. So we need some definitions. The first one is, what is a regular pyramid? Okay, a regular pyramid is a pyramid whose base is a regular polygon. And remember, a regular polygon, think of a square. A square is a regular polygon because all the sides are the same length. So if I have a triangle that has all the sides that are the same length, then that's an equal what? Equilateral triangle, and it's equal angular, and that is also a regular polygon. So those are the kinds of pyramids that we're going to focus on. Um, I can classify a pyramid by focusing on the shape of the base. So if my pyramid has a square base, then we call that a square pyramid. If my pyramid has a triangular base, we call that a triangular pyramid. Okay, um, so the surface area. Um, the surface area of a pyramid is the sum of the area of the base and the area of the lateral faces. So I find the area of the base, I add the area of the lateral faces to it, and voila, I have the surface area. Okay, um, there is another definition that we need, and that is for the slant height. So if we look at our drawing over here, the slant height is this height of one of the lateral faces in my pyramid, okay? There's, it's also down here when I look at the net. Okay, so we call that the slant height, and that's gonna help us to find the area of one of the triangles. Um, so we have a formula, surface area um, is the area of the base plus the area of the lateral faces. So this is a little different than when we were talking about prisms. Uh, the only difference is the area of the base for a pyramid, uh, notice that's singular, base, because we only have one base in a pyramid. In a prism, we had two bases. So for um, a prism, the surface area was the area of the bases plus the area of the lateral faces, okay? And just to remind you, um, as we're working through these problems, I will use this AOB to represent the area of the base and I will use AOL to represent the area of the lateral faces. Um, so let's go ahead and jump in and look at a couple examples. All right, so the first one, uh, it says find the surface area and the lateral surface area of the pyramid. Okay, so if I look at this pyramid and I look at the base, what is the shape? of this base. That's correct. It is a square. I know it's a square. It's not a rectangle. Um, well, actually every square is a rectangle, but this is a square because I'm given just one of the lengths of the base. And so if you only get one, you can assume that the other ones, all four of these, this one goes to the back, all four of these side lengths are the same. So this is a square pyramid. Okay, so I wanna write down the formula for the surface area of a pyramid. So what is that formula?
So remember the formula is surface area equals the area of the base plus the area of the lateral faces. Okay, so let's find the area of the base first. Um, and so that is my square and the dimensions of the square, one side is 11. So I can find the area of a square. The area of a square is I take one side and I square it. So this is 11 times 11. So this area of the base equals 121 centimeters squared. So I have my AOB, 121 centimeters squared. And so now I need to add to this the area of the lateral faces, or the AOL. Okay, um, I'm just going to draw one of these triangles to make sure I get the dimensions right. All right, I know the height of this triangle is what? Correct, it is 14 centimeters. And then the base of this triangle is what? The base of this triangle is 11 centimeters. Okay, and I know how to find the area of a triangle. The formula for the area of a triangle is area equals the base of the triangle times the height of the triangle divided by two. And remember, this is a square pyramid, and a square pyramid um, should have four lateral faces. So I need to multiply whatever I get from my, from my area, I need to multiply it by four, because I have four of these triangles. All right, so let's get back to the formula. Area equals 14 times 11 divided by two. I see some canceling here, so I'm just going to do that. So my area equals 7 times 11, which is 77 centimeters squared. All right. But for the area of the lateral faces, I need to multiply this number by 4. And when I do that, I get 308 centimeters squared. So there's my AOL. I have my AOB. Let me put this in here. And for my final answer, I will get what? That's correct. You get 429 centimeters squared. Okay, so there you go. We just found the area, surface area, sorry, of a square pyramid. Notice how I broke it down into its pieces. All right, so let's find the, um, actually, let me go back because I forgot this again. Um, let's talk about the lateral surface area. So lateral surface area. The lateral surface area is the same thing as the area of the lateral faces. So in this problem, the lateral surface area equals what? Very good, it equals 308 centimeters squared. So remember lateral surface area. It's the area of the faces and not the base area of the faces and not the base. Say that five times fast. All right, so now let's find the surface area and I'm gonna write it down so I don't forget, the lateral surface area. Actually, I don't wanna write it right there. Um, I'll put it down here, the lateral surface area. Okay, so um, here we go. So I have to find the area of the base. 
And the shape of that base is a triangle. So it is a triangle. And what do you think the base is for that triangle? Very good. It is nine yards. So that is my base. And what is the height of this triangle? You guys are good. That's correct. It is 7.8 yards. Okay, 7.8 yards. So I should be able to find the area of this base. It equals the base times the height divided by 2. So I have 7.8 times 9 divided by 2. I know you guys have that handy in your head. I do not. So I'm going to put it in my calculator and divide by 2. And I get an answer of 35.1 yards squared. All right, so I will just go ahead and substitute that in here, 35.1 plus, let's look at the area of my lateral faces. Those are also triangles. How many lateral faces do I have in a triangular pyramid? That's right, it's three. So whatever I figure out for the area, I have to remember to multiply it by three. Okay, so the base of this uh, lateral face is what? Very good. It is also nine yards. And the height or slant height of this face is... That's correct. It is eight yards. So here's my slant height. Notice where it's pointing. And this base of this triangle, remember it's a regular polygon as my base. So each side is nine yards. That's, this side is nine yards. So is this side back here. And so is this side here. Okay, so let's find the area of one of these triangles. And the formula for the area of a triangle, again, is area equals base times height divided by 2. And I take 9, multiply it by 8, divide that by 2. So my area, and I can cancel, there's 1 and 4, is 36 yards squared. But I need to multiply that by 3. So my AOL, the area of the lateral faces, is 3 times 36, which is 108 yards squared. So there's my AOL, 108 square yards. And I add those together. And what do I get? 143.1 square yards. Okay, so there is how we can find the area of a triangular pyramid. All right, let's look at uh, one more problem. All right, one more problem. Where did it go? It was here somewhere. Maybe it's not here. And I don't have one more problem. There we go. It's here. All right. So the uh, surface area uh, of a triangular pyramid. So the surface area of a triangular pyramid is 305 square inches. Um, and this is supposed to say area right here. So that was a little mistake. That should say area. The area of the base, that's important information, the area 
of the base is 35 square inches. Okay. Each face has a base of nine inches. What is the slant height? Okay, so let's first draw a triangular pyramid. So there's a triangle. Whoa, there's a triangle. And let me make a triangular pyramid. So uh, let me draw some, see if I can draw some straighter lines on this. There's one. Let me draw another one. There's two. And let me draw another one. There's three. And let me draw a slant height for one of the triangles. Actually, I'll keep that as black. Let me draw a slant height like that. And we'll make that one a different color. So there's my slant height. Okay, so here's my triangle. And what does it say? It says the um, surface area. So surface area, I know what that is. That's S, right? So surface area equals the area of the base plus the area of the lateral faces. And I know what the surface area is. It tells me that it's 305 square inches. So I can substitute that for S. And the area of the base, do I know what that is? I do. I know what the area of the base is. That's 35 square inches. Um, and so what do I need to figure out is the slant height. All right. And, but it tells me each base of each one of these faces is nine inches. So this is nine inches. So if I was going to try to calculate the area of the lateral faces, what would I do? Well, I have my triangle here. And I know that this is nine inches. I should put inches on here. And let me draw a little line here and I can put some space here. And that'll help me raise that up. Very good. So um, how do I figure out the area of this? Well, I take area equals base times height divided by two. All right. Um, and how many of these triangles do I have? Remember, it's a triangular pyramid. So there are three, that's right, three of these lateral faces. All right. So I know something in this formula. I know that this area of the lateral faces is going to equal something. And I can figure out what it equals in this problem right here. I just have to go back to chapter three. So let me put AOL. If I subtract 35 from both sides, then the area of the lateral faces equals, what do I get? 270 inches squared. All right, so I already know what the area of all three of these triangles is going to equal. So now, if I know the area of all three triangles, what's the area of one of the triangles? Okay, so to figure that out, I take the 270 inches squared. I have three triangles, so I have to divide that by three. So the area of one of these triangles will be 90 inches squared. How's that going to help me? Well, I can use that value 
for my A right there. All right, so let me come back to that formula. So it should be 90 inches squared equals, I know what the base of my triangle is. It's nine. I don't know what the height is, and this is divided by two. All right, this takes us all the way back to chapter three. Okay, and a couple ways I can do this. Um, or I could use chapter five, I could turn this into a uh, proportion, but I'm just going to use chapter three. Um, let me multiply both sides of this by two ninths. Two ninths. And the reason I do that is because the two cancels with that two, the nine cancels with that nine. So what do we call this two nights? What is that called? That's right. This is the reciprocal. See how all this stuff comes back to get you all the time. All right. So, but on this side, all that canceling leaves me with the height. And then over here, I can also do some canceling with the 9 and the 90. All right. Um, and this would actually be inches down here, which would also cancel with that. Inches squared. So I have 2 times 10, which is 20 inches. So that would give me the height of my lateral faces or the slant height okay so pretty straightforward problem you did need to remember chapter three quite a bit in there um which is fine you can remember chapter three you need to remember chapter three all right so that's all i have for this lesson hopefully you learned something uh this is mr odom and i'm out